probably right. Don't uh, erase that. Yeah, that's fine. You're just rounding off less than I did. When you rounded it off. All right. Well, your first answer was more accurate, but I guess we'll just say 137.2. Depending on how much you round off. So let's take stock of where we are so far. You started by figuring out the weight of the balloon, mm -hmm. and now we had to find the buoyant force. And the key to finding the buoyant force was that since we want to be just barely floating, we can say that the volume submerged is the volume of the object. If something is just barely floating, the volume submerged is the volume of the object. All right. This was the weight of the balloon. Now, what are the objects in this problem? Um, what do we have to treat as an object? The paper cups and the balloon. And what else? And the helium. That's right. But so far, I think we've only done the weight of the balloon. Mm -hmm. We haven't done the weight, say, of the helium. Okay. So. <laughs> making a mess. Well, we, so when we said this was the weight, we should have said this is just the weight of the balloon. We still need to find the weight of the helium. The helium has a weight as well. steps before we can get to that. Did we, already, did we already figure that out earlier? Yeah. Where did we get that? Yeah, uh, volume submerged and we submerged. It's the same as the total volume. That's right. So it's important here that we're using the volume submerged as the volume of the object. That looks good. The weight of the helium and the balloon is 0 0.033 newtons. Good. Now let's take stock one more time. What are the objects in this problem? The paper clips, um, the balloon, and the helium. So far, we've only found the weight of the helium and the balloon. We've still got the paper clips.
what's the weight of one paper clip? How would you find the weight of one paper clip? 4.0 amps is one paper clip. Right. So what, what's the weight of one paper clip? Oh, the weight of one paper clip is 0 0.001 times 9.8. that gives you? 0.0098. However, remember, there's going to be more than one clip. And we don't know how many clips there are. That's what the question is asking, right? The question is asking how many clips. So we're not going to know for sure what the total weight is. All we can do is get a mathematical expression for the total weight. We can't figure out for sure what the total weight is because we don't know how many clips there's going to be. That's what the question was asking us for. So what can we write down as our mathematical expression for the total weight? Um, uh, weight of the balloon plus the weight of the helium, and we leave the weight of the paper clip as a variable. Let's see. Well, ah, that's not a bad approach. Yeah, we can just leave the weight of the paper clips as a variable. OK, we'll have to do a little more work with that, but that's fine. OK, let's do that. So uh, good. So let's write down that expression then for our total weight. So the total weight, this is the weight of the helium in the balloon. And then we're going to write the weight of the clips, because we don't know how many clips there's going to be. However many clips there are, that's the total weight.